Welcome to the world of amazing animal disguises. Hmm, where is it? Hi, Henry. What are you doing? Something. Come on, Henry, what's up? I know it's in here somewhere. I was wondering where that was. Henry, hello. Henry. I'm talking to you. Henry. Excuse me, you are Henry. Henry's not here. Henry? I'm sorry. You must be mistaking me for someone else. We know it's you, Henry. If you want some disguise tips, you should take a look at some of these experts. Huh? Many animals have found lots of different ways to not be seen when they don't want to be. Okay, okay. Staying hidden is what being a master of disguise is all about. Master of disguise? There's nothing here. Oops. I guess maybe there is. Okay. Who else is hiding around here? Wait a minute. I smell a rat. Or see a snake. Disguises help animals to stay hidden. Spots, stripes, lookalikes. There are all kinds of ways for animals to blend in with the scenery. looking at a bird dropping? It may look like a bird dropping, but it's actually a caterpillar in disguise. Think about it. Who would want to eat a bird dropping? Yeah, no volunteers here. Or a see-through fish. Flatfish buries itself in the sand, but its eyes still stick out to look for danger. I thought there was something fishy. Those disguises were great, only... Only what? I wish I could find a really good disguise. Hey! So, are you still trying to come up with a good disguise, Henry? <laughs> that shirt doesn't exactly say subtle, does it? Now tell me what that ball has in common with all these things. The uh, stripes? Yeah, stripes are a great way for animals to blend into their surroundings. But these stripes stand out like a sore thumb! How many zebras do you see? Um... Those stripes mean that predators can't tell where one zebra begins and another one ends. Cheetahs can only see in shades of black and white, so the zebra's stripes won't even stand out against the green of the grass. Well, how can it ever catch them then? The best it can do is to try to split up the herd and scare a small foal into the open where the cheetah can see it better. Yeah, and spot a meal. Get it? Spots! Stripes! But not this time. This cheetah's just out for a stroll. Hey, take a close look here. Can you see anything? Yeah, well, no, but... No buts. It's because of stripes again. When the bongo antelope stands in the dappled light of the forest, it's got the perfect camouflage. You're right! Animals do have some pretty amazing disguises. Now you see them, now you don't. Or, now you don't see them, and now you do. Disguises can help animals avoid becoming an easy meal, whether they live on land, in the air, or under the sea.
The eight-legged octopus can actually change the color and even the texture of its skin to match its surroundings. But even this master of disguise has to be careful. Whoop, whoop, eel alert! Don't worry, the octopus has another trick up his tentacle. The octopus can fire a cloud of ink to make its escape. And it changes color and texture again, blending into the rock to recover. Which way did he go? How does the octopus change colors like that? The same as a cuttlefish. They both have special skin cells that work just like tiny tubes of paint. The more you squeeze them, the more the color comes out. It works in reverse, too. The cuttlefish can suck all the color back in. But not all animals need to be quick change artists. Pipefish just sway like strands of seaweed and blend into the scenery. Neat! Remember how stripes are used to fool hunters? Well, some hunters, like tigers, use stripes to hide from their prey. Henry, are you listening? What are you doing? Disguising myself, see? You look ridiculous. What? Very impressive, Henry. You certainly got yourself a new look there. Uh-oh, I think I may have overdone it. Well, you won't win any awards for originality. Awards! Good idea! And the nominees for Best Animal Disguise are... Third prize to the Patu Bird that looks like a tree stump. He's the one on the right. Runner-up is the, uh, Pooh Bug, so named because... Um, thank you, Henry. And the winner is... The winner is... The original Quick Change Kid, the eye-swivelingly excellent Chameleon! Don't try this at home. Henry, did you hear me? I said, don't try this at home. How you doing? Chameleons have the amazing ability to change colors to match their surroundings, or even their mood, when they are angry or in love. You'd have to be a lizard to love a face like that. But color changing is most useful for catching prey. This I gotta see. This you will see. This chameleon's on the trail of a meal. He'll have no problem. Whatever his lunch is, it'll never see him coming. I think both you and the chameleon are in for a bit of a surprise. Chameleons like to eat bugs, but the insects in this tree are prepared to defend themselves with some clever disguises of their own. Hey now, that is clever. He's so still. He's just like a branch blowing in the wind. That's right. Chameleons hunt by movement. So as long as their prey all keep still and stick with their disguises, they'll fool the chameleon every time. Don't move, guys! What is that? Is that really a bug? can look in two directions at once. Handy for crossing the street. <laughs> Before it finally zeroes in on its prey.
Henry, turn that boat around. Way! Not all the way. Uh-oh. I hope he doesn't sink. Whoop whoop! See we to learn off the starboard thingy! Looks can be deceptive, you know. That sargasso seaweed hides countless creatures who live their whole lives drifting with it. These underwater hitchhikers do their best to match the decor, because hidden somewhere in every clump, there's a sargasso anglerfish. Will you look at the mouth on that? I'm afraid there are plenty of uses for a disguise, and they're not all defensive. From ocean to river, and yet more disguises and nasty surprises. Those little neon tetras had better be careful, because something somewhere has got its eyes on them. Huh? What? Who? A hungry leaf fish. And if that doesn't get you, then there's always something else lurking. A matta matta turtle, to be exact. Looks like a matter, matter of life and death to me. <laughs> oh, there goes another one. That matter, matter turtle was pretty ugly. I think I'd rather be disguised as something a little more attractive. Like what? Like me. Ah. Oh.